wants to go sailing? <laughs> Me. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> Did you see that? I just slapped the thing in my the, the, the sleeping bear has only just got up. Okay, what have we forgotten? We've still got the out hole on. To so release it, yeah. We should have released that before. We're just discussing luff uh, tension. We're gonna be going hard to win, so what are we gonna do? So you wanna watch this, but you don't want it to stretch. You don't want this to stretch and then they'll have, you'll see it, it'll, it'll, it'll go stretch and then this will be a little bit untidy. Tell me when. No. I think that's right. Do? Out hole. Out hole. Full sail up. So, grab this one. This is out hole. This is first reef. Here. Uh -huh. We'll just tidy that up in a sec. Alright, so whack it around the dodgy winch. Now this is a real dodgy winch. It only goes one way. Alright. Yeah, that's good. Hey, anchor! We're down on all power too again. Um, we've been having no sun and so basically uh, no, nothing works except for the engine batteries and I don't want to tap into that to do um, well, the anchor windless. This is a bit tricky in San Blas because there's like 365 islands and we haven't gone this way yet, but just let's see if Lisa is sort of getting her bearing. It's a bit of a big ask because every island looks the same. So we've got two islands coming up here. Uh, we've just got through the reef here between Green Island and Objigabudugdup. That's the shortened version. Um, so do we head between these two islands or to the right or to the left? Oh, can you see Hollandaise by the way? Yeah, that's Hollandaise, the far. Yeah, gotcha. I'd say we go to the left, but I, I, don't I would say that's a very, very good call. Generally, when you get two islands close together, well, they might be on the same Coral K group. Uh, so, you want to say something? No. <laughs> what do you want me to say? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All good. I, I like sailing. <laughs> I love sailing. That's good, isn't it? Yes. Do you need me to tweak the sails at all? I don't think so. No? You just tell me when you want the sails to be tweaked and I'll be your servant, okay? Okay. Everything looks good? Well done. There you go, that's a brave gooner. I almost rode him over. <laughs> yeah, well he's gotta he's gotta earn his living somehow. I don't know how they're doing it now. It's tough for them here people because they normally sell some of the seafood to the yachties and there's no yachties here anymore. I mean there's a handful of boats. Usually at this time of year there would be you know hundreds of boats. Lovely conditions today. I made the mistake of saying it was chick sailing and um, Lisa didn't take too kindly with that. She said she wanted to chuck me off the boat. Why is that, Lisa? Do you think that's a bit of a male chauvinist thing to say? Yes. It's just not appropriate. It's well, just not true. I know Australians aren't male chauvinists, but that's what we can say in Australia when, when it's really nice sailing and there's very little wind and there's hardly any waves and you're not leaning. It's chick sailing. Chick sailing at its best. If I say chick sailing one more time, I'll probably be hit by the winch handle. Good idea. Oh, actually. Oh, the machete. Oh, the machete. Yeah, because I put the machete foolishly there. You're doing very well. Perfect day sailing, it really is. I mean, it's all overcast, but still, it's a lovely day.
Okay, I've got this roller gun here. It's bloody superb, but usually I like to tweak things the way I like to tweak things. They've got this little um, loader helper here, and I reckon this does a lot of noise in the water because it actually pulls through the water as it's accelerating the shaft. Uh, it's a necessary evil, I think. However, I've been thinking, and sometimes when I think too much, you know, the smoke starts to come out. But I'm going to try and remove that. Um, of course, it's going to make it really hard for me to get my fingers in there to grab this. So I'm going to make up an assist. Now, so I went to my kit and found something to make a hook. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to bend this, that part there, out. And hopefully that'll be a hook enough to get in there and grab that then I can dispense with having this then I'll cut this and I'll sew up some kind of uh, I don't know if you're familiar with bow hunting but a lot of bow hunters use a wrist a wrist a, a wrist uh, trigger release so I'm going to attempt to bend this out so it's a bit like a, a bit of a hook to grab that rope there we go Nothing special, two hangman nooses there uh, opposing each other, one loop, I've just sewed it in so it doesn't come off. Now we just need some of this to make up a wristband. I know what you're thinking people, I ought to write a book on being a seamstress and you'd be right. Look at me go, should have been a seamstress people. So that's all I've done, gee that looks terrible doesn't it. That's it, that's all it is. So basically that's bent for the hook. This goes in my wrist. I've got a little, because I've now down one hand because I can't grab it. I've got this for my teeth. And I pull that tight. So basically it goes on my wrist. The hook goes into the bridle. Left hand into the butt of the gun. Okay, we squeeze butt to chest hand to rubber, kick this away, hand to the other rubber, and done. And then I've just got a really cool bracelet. And the fish will go, ooh, we're gonna get one of those. As per usual, there's no food on the boat, so we gotta go get some. I'm a little shaky because it's a new technique, but I can already tell it's a winner, people. So I'm gonna cut off the loading loop. I didn't want to shoot that dog snap, it was just too big for us too. That's a five metre shot right there, and the spear went exactly where I wanted it. I love my new guns. I thought we'd try a barracuda today because a lot of people have asked about it. In the southwest Caribbean, up to southern Cuba, there is no ciguatera, so even eating big barracuda is not a problem. But it does have a stinky slime on it, so really rub it down with sand, and I mean a lot. My favourite way to cook barracuda is in cutlets and smoked, and it is excellent eating like this. We just got plenty of veggies, it's amazing! Because yeah. we thought we were going out like tomorrow because we have one pineapple left and it's not really 
a pineapple because all it's already off. All the pineapples were sacked last time. <laughs> yeah, and they were and these all are really good. And these ones are amazing. And yeah. we've got so many veggies now. So we don't have to go to go back to civilization. I mean, this is unheard of. There's no boats. There's two other boats. Well, actually, no, there's five, four other boats. Um, but they don't only come here when there's 10 or 20 boats because it's not worth their while. They come all the way from Cologne. So we're very, very fortunate. Uh, he might have made a mistake or he was just seeing if there were more boats here. It's a special occasion. The fridge has been on actually because we had to buy fruit and veggies last time. Uh, but we turn it off, it's only on for 8 hours or 10, 10 hours of the day because we just can't afford the power. Uh, but it's a special occasion, I actually cleaned the fridge. Well, trust me, that's clean for this boat. It's clean as a dirty whistle, people. Okay, we've got, uh, what is it, coriander. It's unheard of. So I'm going to cut that up and I'm going to put that into oil. And we'll save some um, fresh stuff uh, just for salads and stuff. But uh, this is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. We're very, very happy. Yes. It's, it doesn't take much to make us happy, but we're happy. And... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, um... Uh, there goes some guys. Look, I gave them some, uh, where is it? They're running short on every, everything here. I bought an extra spool of line and um, I mean, it's my spare, but I can, I can spare some. So the word getting out, people. Um, I've got the sail here. I'm gonna go chop that up on Lewis's Island. So I'm telling everyone, or everyone's knowing that um, there's someone here that's, you know, got some gear to share around. Now we're going to have a lot of fun with scissors, people, and cut up my old sail and give it to the gooners. This is the second take because editor over here said that I was a bit flat. So I'm going to do it again. We're off to go see the gooners and give away my old sail. Well, part of it. We're going to cut it up. Okay, this is the third take because apparently that last one also sucked, according to wonderful editor, I had to think then, are uh, going to give a sail to the Gooners. Because their sails are made out of old sailor's sheets and pillowcases and board shorts and so this Dacron should give them 10, 10 more years I reckon, even though it's had 10 years on my boat. Initially I thought this was going to make five sails, yes I know, a bit optimistic, but I was a bit out. Also, Lewis wanted a big damn sail on his boat, which didn't help my calculations any. Uh, I thought it was going to be more sail. I thought we were going to get like five, six sails out of it. Well, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, um, the guys over there, Dimitri, he can cut it and join it and maybe he can do repairs on his old sail. Okay. Eso es para dos, sí? Si? Eso sale uno, no me voy a cortar aquí. Do you recognize that? That's a track of my fourth though. I only had a tiny bit of sail left to give Dimitri on the other island. I had told him yesterday that I had plenty of sail for all, but I didn't. But it wasn't all bad because recently I'd been given some spearfishing gear and I had snorkels and rubbers spare, so I could give them away. This is not set up at all, people. I did not put a Lucy light down here. I'm busy working and action. 
Take 17. <laughs> Go. Do you want to play a game of chess? Back to me. Okay. Anything to avoid doing videos. Let the games begin. Cheers. Cheers. We're just discussing the uh, chess terms. She's saying I'm being offensive. I'm really attacking, but I am offensive. I try not to be, but it's just the way it is. Lisa's in a bit of a pickle. That's what happens in chess. That's the beautiful part of chess. It's all going good, and then it's not. Until it's not, yes. Yeah. Well, I, 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 she was talking about how amazing I am. Here we go. Sorry. Oops, sorry. Set the hoops up high. I like, yeah, go. I was saying that this is like the game of chess that ended the most quickly ever. Really? Because of me losing. Well, no, it was very elegant. And it was elegant? Yes. There you go, people. That's something I've never been accused of uh, being accused before. Accused of? Yeah, accused of. That was very elegant, Is Peter. that an insult for you to be elegant? Well, pretty much. Me being elegant, let me think. Oh, oh my lordy, no. No, 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 no. I think we can all agree that plucky and elegance are mutually exclusive things that don't belong in the same book. Now let's try and forget all the dreadful imagery, shall we? I'm assuring Lisa there was a bit of, you know when you're playing and things just work out and you really haven't had the thought process to figure it out and it just happened? That was what happened then. I'm absolutely positive me tying it to that rock will possibly hold. You excited? Yes. All right, what are we after? You've already chased two fish out of the water? Well, yes, and they almost died, but not quite. All right, let's go finding octopus. Found any octopus yet? No. It's a bit of too many waves. Yeah. There's a slight flaw in the plan. There's too many waves. <laughs> slight flaw. Yeah, this should be glassy as people and it's like a like a swimming pool and we should be looking in and you see them trying to eat the crabs. Oh there's a crab. Okay, uh, this is a first for the blog. We have a fail. It's, uh, it's too wavy. We can't see anything. Lisa's having a good old time, falling all over there. Are you okay? Uh, yes. Excellent. Use his boat. I'm, uh, not wrecking the propeller. Well, octopus finding was a fail, but that doesn't mean that tonight is a failure. Try, 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 try again, people. Let's go find a croc. My crocodile teacher. There's really only one lesson to be learnt there. I don't know if you can see this, but it's like a tunnel in the mangrove that goes into uh, the island. Um, I've been here before and I've seen marks of crocodiles in there. But the trouble is you've got about a 10 metre stretch of muddy flats where you sink up to your knees to get to dry land. So I don't want to do that. You, would you like to have a look? Well, it sound Should I walk it? And now for the official crocodile call. Yeah, crocky, 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 crocky. That's the one. Wow, it just keeps on going. I don't think I've been to this one before. I'm gonna get out of here because, well, it definitely, I know from the other one, it gets muddier and muddier as it gets close to the island. So there's no point. All right, let's, the, the hunt continues, people. Oh, I think you're stuck. I think so too. Mangroves are amazing, aren't they? Oh yeah.
nice little croc beach. Go. One more. Go. Oh, Jesus. Lisa's going to grab a fish. Well, but I can't grab Just him. Just grab him. He's so cute. Well, he'd, be, he'd be good on toast. I won't grab a fish. That's so mean. Why not? He's cute. So you, can, you can put him back. Well, but what if I hurt him? You won't. Just grab him sort of gently. Sort of gently? Right, I'm going to grab this fish. Dear little fishy. No, but I'll be very gentle. If you hurt him. Possibly not. Okay, maybe not. It's very disappointing, people. Uh, I think they've killed all the crocs. Top stuff. Human beings, let's kill everything and live by ourselves. Well, we just got back from Octopus Watch and Croc Watch, and it was a big disappointment. Um, do you think, it was, you, were you disappointed? Well, I saw plenty of fish and fluorescent plankton, so not that much. Oh, so you, you, you had a good time. Uh, well, look, I'm disappointed, people, because there are no more crocs left because human beings like to kill everything and soon there's only going to be human beings on the planet. That means if you go to the zoo, you're going to see an Italian person, you know, eating a pizza in his cage and a French person eating a pastry, an Australian person drinking a beer, a Swiss German eating shitloads of chocolate, <laughs> and that's all there'll be at the zoo. Shame, human beings, shame. To all my patrons out there, don't forget to check out the Patreon site every week or so for Patreon-only videos. See you next week. Yeah.